anticipate your opponent's next move. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallo, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Huh, fair. You know... Exclusive... Until next time. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu Rebellion. Sometimes I have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here? Hello there. You're the new Rebellion. student, aren't you? Hello. You want Samantha Dale? I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your... Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress prof... Revelio.
Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sally. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Let me answer. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. Exams. <laughs> Not a one of them deserves more than a thing. Revelio. said that travel broadens the mind. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks were. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charm. Let us give the old mending. Remember. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go Prepare. at a broken statue in the alcove underwater. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. 
Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. As difficult as it seems. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Rebellion. Levioso. Accio. Repero. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Broomsticks are so out of date. I'd rather travel by flu network. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Revelio. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Harry Pippin, sir. was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is meat, although he does. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth.